Hello, Dr. Olivier. I am a urologist at the Lille University Hospital. We are on the Grand Place and we came to interview men of varying ages to find out what they knew about the different cancers specific to men. Here we go. Have you ever heard of Movember? Yes, I have, yeah. For me, it makes me think of solidarity with regard to male cancer. And do. You know what cancers there are in men? Not at all. No. Testicular cancer? No, not really. Testicular cancer and prostate cancer. Do you know at what age testicular cancers are diagnosed? Oh no, that on the other hand. No. Well, no idea. I don't know. Maybe 20, maybe 30. No, tell us. No, not at all. I would say it could be 20, 20, 25 years old. Exactly. Yeah, it's a cancer in young men, between 15 and 35 years old. Do you know how they are diagnosed in the majority of cases? Maybe by x-ray, I don't know. No. Not really. Not screening. And how is this screening? Well, you're asking me a tricky question. I admit that I don't know. It's often palpation of a nodule or a nodule in the testicle or an increase in the volume of the testicle. What is recommended is to do it at least once every two months in the shower. Do you know how testicular cancers are treated? Chemotherapy maybe. No, it's surgery, EH. Initially when the cancer is removed. So when it's at localized stages and treated early enough, that's enough. And indeed when the cancers have progressed, we may need chemotherapy. In addition, the more there if these testicular cancers can be treated early. Have you ever heard of prostate cancer? Yes, do. You know what the first clinical signs are that we can feel? Well, getting up at night very often, having the urge to urinate. When we go to urinate, it doesn't continue. So that's a trick question he prostate cancer, there are no symptoms as long as it remains localized in the prostate and it is treatable. Do you know at what age we can get prostate cancer? Around 50 years old or so. A uh, 45 years old, 50 years old. Exactly. Yeah, it's more of a it's the most common cancer in men after 50 years old. Do you know how we can detect it? B. I think there's a digital rectal exam. Yes, by looking for the PSA level. Exactly. So this blood test, the PSA which is the marker for prostate cancer. How often do you think this PSA should be done? Every year. Every year for men at highest risk. And after the PSA, do you know how we make the definitive diagnosis of this cancer? I think we do an ultrasound. So it's imaging. Yes. First there's the MRI. It's the MRI is the right one. And then if there's ever any doubt about the MRI, we do prostate biopsies. Do you know how prostate cancer is treated? I think there's an operation, EH. But not always, EH. For the most aggressive cancers, we can operate on them or do radiotherapy or radiation. But a large majority of prostate cancers, we can only monitor them when they are at low risk. Uh, monitor them to prevent them from progressing further. But we know that almost 1 in 4, 1 in 4 to 40% of prostate cancers, can be monitored for several years and only treated if they progress.